Hello there everyone. Firstly, it's been a long time since I have made my last video and uh, today I'll be going to commence with a new chapter, a new stream of topics which is of surface areas and volumes. So it's not of 10th class, it's of 9th class. So we'll be discussing the topics, discussing the surface areas and volumes of different figures which are of the level of 9th class. So I'll be making videos on each and every kind of shape, each and every kind of figure and the surface area and volume of the respective figure, right? So let's begin with our very first and very basic shape that is a cubo cuboid and a cube so in this video we will be discussing the surface area of a cube as well as a cuboid and with the help of an example we will be applying the formulas as well so firstly let me write the formulas the identities of surface areas now the very first is surface area of a cuboid now the basic difference between a cube and cuboid is that the length of all sides of cube is same but length of all sides of cuboid is not same so this is the basic difference like if we draw a rough diagram of a cuboid it can look like a bit like this one you can see that the length is different, the breadth is different and the height is different. So this is basically a cuboid. And if L, B and H are length, breadth and height respectively, then surface area of a cuboid is 2LB plus BH plus HL. This is the identity of surface area of cuboid. Now, if the top face, the top face of the cuboid is removed and is not taken under consideration then the formula becomes the formula of lateral surface area of cuboid and there is a minor change in the identity then it becomes 2HL plus B so you have to keep an eye on the details of the statement that uh, whether the top face of the cuboid is included in the statement or not so after that you will be able to apply the correct formula whether it's of surface area or it's of lateral surface area so this was all about cuboid let's talk about cube now of course the length of sides of cube is same so if we can draw a rough diagram of cube then it can look like this so yeah this is a cube let a be the side of the cube now if a is the side of the cube it's pretty much evident that uh, a will be the length of sides length of the all sides right so now surface area of cube the identity is 6 a square so what is a a is the length of the side and in this as well if you will exclude the top face of the upper face of the cube then the formula will become the formula of lateral surface area of cube so lateral surface area of cube is 4a square so basically to solve the problems including surface areas of cube and cuboid you have to remember these four formulas surface area of a cuboid a literal surface area of cuboid surface area of cube and literal surface area of a cube and this way you will be able to apply the formulas so let me just illustrate these identities with the help of a few example one or two examples and uh, then it will be easy for you to understand apart from that one extra note of information is that the surface area of cube or surface area of cuboid is also known as sometimes total surface area of cube and cuboid. So don't get confused if you see total surface area written in any statement because it means the surface area itself. So let's move to one example to just make things more clear. This is the first example uh, that we can use to illustrate things a bit more. In this, uh, we are given with the box and the dimensions of box are 80 by 40 by 20, it means length, breadth and height. 
Now it's very clear that if it has three different dimensions, it means the shape of the box is cuboid and most of the boxes are cuboid, right? Unless or until the side is equal. And uh, there is one side of paper is given. The paper sheet is of square shape and the side of the paper is 40 centimeter. We have to find out that if we want to cover this box with sheets of paper of this size, then how many sheets would be required by the person to cover the box? So simply, of course, if we want to find the number of sheets, then we have to firstly find the, uh, the surface area of the cuboidal box and then we'll find the area of the sheet. Of course, it's a square, so it will be side square. 40 multiply 40 so when we'll find the surface area of both of the shapes both of the objects then we will divide the surface area of box by paper and uh, as a consequence we will be finding the number of sheets required so firstly we have to find the surface area of box what was the formula we have just studied that it's 2 length multiply breadth plus breadth multiply height plus height multiply by length so we can substitute the things length multiply breadth it means 80 multiply 40 which means 8 for the 32 that is 3200 then plus breadth multiply height 40 multiply 20 that is 800 then height multiply length 20 multiply 80 that is 1600 so after solving we will get 32 and 840 50 56 5600 and 256 are 112 so 112 hundred centimeter square because of course it's surface area now 11,200 centimeter square is surface area of the box and uh, if we want to find the area of paper sheet, of course, it's a square. So formula of area of square is side multiply side. It means 40 multiply 40. It means 1600 centimeter square. Now, we are intended to find the number of sheets required. So as I have told you in the beginning, we can find the number of sheets required by dividing the surface area of box which is 11,200 by the surface area or simply the area of one sheet it means 1600 so two zeros will be cancelled and 16 sevens are 112 so seven sheets are required to cover the cuboidal box in this way you can uh, find the number of sheets required or in any of the given situation right so in this way you can apply the formulas and uh, this uh, this was an example to clarify the things more and in the next example uh, it's again we have to divide the surface area of one bigger object by the area of smaller object but in that we have to calculate the lateral surface area because in there it's mentioned that we have to exclude the top face so in this way you can find that where you have to apply the formula of lateral surface area and uh, where you have to apply the formula of total surface area so i would really recommend you to do the second example by yourself because that will clear your concepts a bit more but if you still find any problem in attempting any of the sum or any of the example including these concepts just feel free to dm me on my instagram id which is given in the description and i'll be happy to assist you there so don't forget to comment don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel because it will really motivate me to deliver videos of such kind so thanks a lot for watching this video don't don't forget to subscribe my channel before leaving thank you so much for watching i'll meet you in the next video